I think Europe uh, has some fundamental problems to sort out. But at the end, I would say that Europe is able to overcome these difficulties, provided that there is a general agreement on the need for reform and the need for going to a greater level of economic integration and political integration within Europe. At some level, Europe has some very notable strengths. European democracy is very strong and it has been able to withstand many of the challenges that have emerged and have uh, created problems for the United States, for example, much better. So United States right now is a much more unequal uh, uh, society than it was 30 years ago. The same forces has affected European economies, but the social democratic governments in Europe, to some extent, have been able to uh, deal with uh, some of these forces a little better. In some cases, they have done so by creating a, lo a large public sector, which I think is problematic, such as in the case of France. But in, 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 in much of Europe, in, from Germany to uh, Scandinavia, uh, the, the process of dealing with the new economic forces ranging from globalization to the new wave of technologies that have transformed the workplaces have, has actually worked much better than in the United States. Uh, but on the other hand, this is not to belittle the challenges that are uh, facing Europe because uh, the, part, uh, the other side of the coin is that some countries such as France, but also you can see the same problems in Scandinavia, uh, also have a lot of inefficiencies in their public sectors and uh, they have to kind of make uh, business creation more effective and, and easier for, uh, for, for being able to compete in the global scale. But more importantly, I think the whole European project is dependent on the integration uh, that started in uh, with the European uh, Steel and Coal Commission continuing, and, uh, and 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 the next stage of that is a very difficult one, which involves a uh, bringing fiscal, banking, and political integration, and b bringing more democracy at the level at, of Europe, which uh, is a real challenge, both because very little experience uh, we have very little experience, you know, with democracy at such a centralized level and also because uh, we, we depend on the politicians to take us there and, and this sort of uh, change in the level of governance of course means the end of the politicians themselves. So it's a very difficult process and I think there is no guarantee that Europe is going to be able to handle that effectively but, uh, but I think uh, Europe has the strength both institutional and human capital strength to do that as long as the problems are well defined and uh, and there is a greater understanding of the need to tackle these uh, big challenges.